Okay, so this week was really busy. We had a lot of different things going on. Uh, I had class. Okay. So, we're in Illuminate right now for practicum class. Practicum class is awesome. Practicum class is where me and the rest of my cohort members and a couple people from the CSBA program in Illinois State that aren't in my cohort uh, get together to talk about the experiences that we're having at our different institutions. Uh, today I get to talk about Seton Hall, which is going to be really cool. Um, but, uh, but this is what Illuminate looks like. You get your, you know, your whiteboard, you get your chat feature, and you get your, you know, roster. And you can video chat, you can audio chat, that's why I have the goofy headset on, and, uh, and then you can, you know, text chat as well. Uh, Illuminate is cool. Importantly this week was um, Pirate Adventures, which is new student freshman orientation at uh, Seton Hall. And I think that, you know, no matter where you go, uh, orientation is different at every campus. I think that's been really cool to see some of the traditions that they do here, watching the pirate walk around, uh, watching them play little icebreaker games and things like that. Um, getting to know some of the uh, the PAs, which are the you know um, pirate adventure assistants, um, very cool. Uh, and of course, the cafeteria opened up for, finally, so that's been really great too. Um, but honestly, I think that it it, uh, it caused a lot of cool things to happen around the office. I got to work uh, check out and uh, work around the office while all the new students, the new freshmen, were walking around. And I think that um, I think the best part of the entire week is watching some of the freshmen as they checked out, you know, looking at one another and saying, "I can't wait to see you in the fall. I hope you become roommates. It was very nice to meet you. You know, I can't wait for August. Those kind of things. Um, you know, no matter how important it is for the students to get their ID card, get their email, and register for classes, uh, I think the real important part of orientation is that they feel a connection when they leave to both Seton Hall and to one another and I got to witness that several times this week and that was really cool I don't think you see a single person walk out of uh, walk out of the residence hall who's not decked out in uh, Seton Hall apparel and that was really cool so seeing them get that campus pride already absolutely fantastic so whatever admissions is doing, uh, whatever housing and the different offices, the first year experiences office that work with them uh, are doing, uh, is working. It's uh, Friday and it's orientation day, so when normally we do like a 9 to noon shift on Friday, now we're doing a 9 to 5 shift, which is cool, because it's really exciting to get to be here to watch all the different freshmen, checking out their freshman residence hall, and uh, working checkout right now, so uh, all good things. It's also been interesting for me to see the uh, structure of new student orientation here. Um, because this is a very small university, um, less than around 6,000 undergraduates, it's been, it, there's not one designated office that does orientation all by itself. I think, you know, I graduated from Northern Kentucky University. Um, where we have an Office of New Student Orientation and Parent Programs that does Northern Exposure, which is our summer two-day program. Uh, I'm in Illinois State now, where they do preview, and then in the fall they come back for a welcome week type passages orientation structure, but it all comes out of one specific office. Here, it's there's not one orientation designated, and I think that works for them. You know, I'm not necessarily sure that that's always the best plan, but for right now, from what I'm seeing, it's working. But I thought that was an interesting observation that these small private schools, um, you know, people who wear multiple different hats, people who are generalists, if you will, instead of specialists, um, they get to do those kind of things. And that, that's been really cool to see that put into action. For those of you who don't know me that well, my little sister is going to college for the first time uh, in the fall. And I'm really excited for her. She's going to go to Xavier University, which is a Jesuit Catholic institution in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, I'm really excited for her uh, as much as us NKU kids like to pick on the Xavier kids uh, when we beat them, destroy them in hockey. 
Um, I think that uh, it is a really, really great school. She's going to have a great time. I've started reading this book. It's called The Dean's List, The 11 Habits of Highly Successful College Students. And uh, it was promoted by ACPA. That's how I heard about it. And I've been reading all sorts of different things. And I thought that um, I'd like to hear if anyone else out there has read it. Um, I'll probably start throwing in some things from this, uh, using it to compare it to what I'm experiencing here. Um, and I think that uh, I'm going to gain a lot from it, I hope. And I will let you know how it is. But if you have read it, let me know what you think. And also, for discussion this week, let me know, um, it's because I guess the topic of this week was orientation, let me know what your favorite orientation memory is, whether that was, you know, uh, meeting somebody or a session you went to, or uh, what your favorite traditional thing to see at a new student orientation is like. And that can be international orientation, transfer orientation, graduate student orientation, whatever. Um, but I know that you know most of my favorite memories come from being an orientation leader uh, and going through my new student orientation at NKU, um, and I would love to hear what your all's are as well. So let me know.